you know, when you have competent leadership pushing forward, and if you're watching the news right now, you see that Maricopa County is having that wretched audit. It's so important to have leadership that matters. It's truly every vote counts. Um, every vote counts. Every interaction counts. Everything that you do on the campaign counts. We need to make sure that Arizona in this country is getting the best leadership possible. Uh, I'm going to toss out a number here. I believe it was 403, if I'm not mistaken. Three. That, right. that number. Now, does that number, I'll let you explain 403, but does that number, do you look at that? Does it sort of haunt you? Do you sort of like hold it up as a benchmark? I mean, you ran a great, great race. We joke around about it at the Hodge HQ. Uh, we often talk about getting matching 403 tattoos. We, <laughs> um, at times we have the number on the wall. We joke around about it. I mean, it, it's it's become um, famous and infamous in the in the Hodge HQ environment. Uh, but why it's so important is because we took a race, um, what we branded as the most important and impactful position in local government, the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors, the governing body of America's fourth largest county in the country and America's fastest growing county. We ran for seats that um, had a, a constituency of 925,000 people. That's more than um, five governors, 10 senators, the mayor of San Francisco. I mean, it's just a massive, massive constituency. Um, and it was a very conservative district. But one thing that I've learned very early on as a leader is to surround yourself around people very, very much smarter than you. Uh, and the people that were that are very, very much smarter than me said, Jevin, you know, the opportunity is here, but it's going to take the right candidate with the right message, with the right plan to do this. And I said, let's do it. So we ran for this position, uh, several cities, several jurisdictions, 925,000 people um, had a great time doing so. Had a great time educating folks on the importance of local governance, local politics, why it matters, why it's so important. Um, like you said, got the endorsement of, of Secretary Buttigieg. Vice President Harris, Secretary Fudge, a whole list of, of members of Congress and state leaders from around the country and in Arizona, uh, but simply because this is the behemoth. Maricopa County is one of the largest counties in the country. Um, and so, you know, when you have comp competent leadership pushing forward, and if you're watching the news right now, you see that Maricopa County is having that wretched audit. You know, it's so important to have leadership that matters. And so we talked about that. And we took a race that um, w was not competitive at all. Um, and on election night, we were up by 25,000 votes. We were so excited. But what happened is we fell victim to the Trump surge. Um, Trump inspired people to, to have disbelief in the institutions that we work so hard to preserve and protect. 15 days after the election, it was determined that we lost by 403. That infamous number, 403. But Gary, out of 472,000 ballots cast, that's less than a tenth of a percent. So every vote counts, every vote matters, but also, you know, you, you don't fail unless you don't learn. And we learned so much. We got our community so excited and motivated, and we were able to provide resources and support. And along the way, a rising tide lifts all boats. So along the way, we supported members of uh, the constables to get elected. We supported members running for Senate Council within our district to help them get elected. We supported school board members, and we helped them get elected. So it, we supported Mark Kelly. We supported Joe Biden. We did our part in the in the entire environment. And, and what I'm most proud of is if, if if my if, if it means that we had to lose so others can win so that we can have competent leadership on school boards and in city councils and we have a president that actually prioritizes science and we have a senator that understands the importance of putting people first then by dog golly i'll go out and do it 10 times over because we need to make sure that arizona in this country is getting the best leadership possible well said. Listen, uh, you know, I've been following you since 2019 when uh, Secretary Buttigieg uh, introduced you. I'm curious, what would 2021 Jevin, what kind of advice would he give 2019 Jevin now that you've been through the whole campaign and election cycle? That is, that's a great question. Uh, that is, <laughs> um, there are a few things that immediately come to mind. Uh, number one, and, and this sounds cliche, but truly every vote counts. Um, every vote counts, every interaction counts, everything that you do on the campaign counts, no matter how small or mundane you may think it is. Uh, it actually has significant benefit uh, and will yield uh, dividends in the long run. Um, number two would be have fun with it. 
um, to be human, be authentically you. I, I really learned along this process how much it makes a difference to be true, to be authentically you. And then the last thing I definitely would say would be take time to breathe. Um, this is a marathon. This is not a sprint at all. Um, and take time to breathe. You, No matter how much, Jevin, you think you are Superman, you are not. Uh, and you need to take that time to get what I call Gary to five R's. That's the rest, relax, rehydrate, rejuvenate so you can refresh yourself. And the way you do that is by getting your 5% in. That's your one hour every day for you. Um, and that's one of the things I talk about on Instagram all the time. Um, and, and, you know, really leaning into that. It's not like I, I don't take my own advice, but um, I, what I have learned over the last few years is how important it is to actually take my own advice. Um, and, and I would say, Jevin, you got this. Keep your head up. Things are not always going to go in your favor, uh, but you're doing the right thing at the right time for the right people. All right. Jevin Hodge is running for Congress 6th District in Arizona. The website is Jevin Hodge. Dot com. If you like what you see, send a couple bucks his way. There's a link down below. This is a politician for the future. I call him something of a Democratic hotshot. Thank you so much for uh, talking with me today. Gr grateful to be here with you today, Gary. I deeply appreciate you and I look forward to continue our conversation. I, I can't say it's the first because I don't know where I'm going to be. But when we win, I want you to be one of the first people we talk to. So we're going to do that immediately. All right. So count it. Have a great it. night, man. Thank All you. Right, so have much. a great one. Rest, relax, rehydrate, rejuvenate.